Hi. Richard, it's Kate. Hi, Kate. Isn't it a coincidence that you called exactly when the police were here? What are the police there for? You tell me. Well, that's not from me, man. Really? It's nothing to do with me, no. Really? Have you been speaking to my father about, um, you know, apparent drug use that um, I may be engaging in? I've had concern calls from your father, but as I said to you before, I can only accept information. I can't disclose information. But you absolutely have, because I asked, I begged them for help, and they gave me forty dollars. Well, how, how does that relate to me giving them information? Well, it's known through the system, and that my dad calls you when he gets concerned. That um, yeah. you know, you report back to him my distress but you tell me that my dad's distressed like my dad lives in a million dollar home he's he's got money he sits on he sat on his ass for a whole year after i successfully killed myself in your hospital and not one person gave a flying fat fuck and you know what else when the police came um I explain to them their responsibilities as a person of public office, which you are as well. And I explain this also to the NDIS minister who reviewed my plan. And in that, it says that you are bound to act within the limits of the Human Rights Charter and additionally the, um, the Charter of human rights of people with a disability. That is your job. That is the police's job. In that, I have said to them an extreme, extreme conspiracy to pervert the course of justice is occurring. And I only just lost two weeks ago, $2.5 million from Africa. Next Wednesday, I'm going to lose um, a TPD claim at the AAT for work cover because the government, having already oppressed me to the point of my death um, and then covered it up with impunity and then destroyed my business and then gaslighted, ostracised, excluded and neglected me and the fact that I can't go to police the fact that I can't be a whistleblower and the illegal um, fact that I can't get fair and equitable justice um, with litigation falls on the responsibility of people in public office. That is you, Cade, and that is the police. Now, I have just had the police here and explain to them how their shit stinks. And I explained to them that I've lost millions of dollars, that I don't have medication, I don't have food, and I'm squatting here three months overdue in rent. Cade, you are my um, person who is instructed by Werribee Mercy Hospital to pathologize me and frame me as unwell, when in actual fact, I am absolutely fucking 100% clear what's going on. And that is that you are a coward and you won't cross the floor. You are well aware that I had a suicide in the hospital that you represent. You know De Dean Stevenson and you know that Dean Stevenson can act with immunity from the law because I'm banned from police. I'm banned as a whistleblower and I'm banned um, from any ombudsman or any litigation. Am I being clear? I've heard what you said, yes. So, now that um, it's been over a year since Werribee Hos Hospital dumped me with squatting, with no food, now no job, because I've been incarcerated with a brain injury, and the fact that you're um, not willing to cross the floor 
to your boss, um, which is actually illegal because um, he's holding power over you like other people hold power over the police. You are a singular person who could interject with not only my rights and for me getting human dignity, but to stop me from starving and to avoid um, psychiatrist Johan's intention that I will be reverse framed, set up for a crime that I did not do, and then I will be incarcerated, a ward of the state. Now, I want to ask you some questions. What agency do you have to oversee my care? So can I just explain what I offered the other day? So uh, I'll, we'll backtrack to what you're saying about Dr. Johan. I, the ward of the state thing, that, is, that would not happen. Why would I be paranoid that that is the plan when I cannot go to police, be a whistleblower, and I cannot get litigation, and no one will stand for my rights, and he's actually told me that. Why, why, why is that? Why would I be rationally paranoid about that? When I last spoke to you last week, and you hung off on me, I said, which lawyers had you spoken to, and I'm happy to try and reach out to some of the ones that you haven't spoken to. Well, why don't you go on the front foot, mate, and try and actually do something, because it's been a whole year since I left Werribee Mercy Hospital. Wait, let me speak, please. It's been a whole year since I left Werribee Mercy Hospital and I've received a $50 Coles voucher, apart from oppression from the likes of you who are too cowardly to um, dirty their hands with the political business of Richard McLean and his justice. Am I right? So I offered last week to speak with some lawyers if that's what you're seeking. Okay, I did offer that. Okay, have you done it? Well, well, I don't know names. You're helping me. Richard, I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm happy to talk and explain myself, but I can't have you keep talking over me, okay? Is that fair? I already know what's happening, mate. Sure. And so the other option, the other offer I made as well was that if you were putting your entire pension towards your rent, then hopefully we can get that back on track. I could look at trying to get you some more food vouchers and paying for your medication. They were my two offers last week. Cade. You're a person of public office that is bound in human rights law. When that law is broken, it is Im impignant on you to tell authorities. You have not gone to the police. You refuse to. You will not cross the floor against your boss, who is complicit in the fact that an oppression from the government actually caused my murder in your hospital, and you cover it up. So you're apologising, you're apologising for the hospital, are you? You're backpedalling and avoiding the justice. No, 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 no. What? No, 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 you actually are. You're backpedalling on the justice and you refuse to acknowledge that a death happened. It was fatal. I can show you the evidence. And you refuse to stand up for me. You are my mortal enemy. You've done nothing for me. You say you'll get um, welfare for me. Why the fuck would I need welfare? if I got paid two and a half million dollars from AFCA two weeks ago? And why the fuck would I need welfare if I'm going to lose a 1.5 plus million dollar case at AFCA, which the Attorney General condones as okay, and you sit there as a neutral, pointless newt who's doing nothing about it? So I will wait for you to, send, uh, to, to call me back with a list of um, lawyers that you have contacted that have declined offering you a service. They all have. I can, they all have, just so every single one online. Well, I ask you to acknowledge all the evidence on killing.info, and I want you to go forth, and I want you to find me a lawyer. Before this Wednesday, when um, my case um, gets a hearing at AAT, I am a person who deserves, under the Charter of Human Rights of People with Disability, I deserve equity and equality before the law. You are my advocate. I expect to hear back from you either tomorrow or the next day. Is that a deal? So what are, well, what are you willing to do in this space, Richard? What can we do together as well? It can't just all fall onto me. You've made multiple attempts apparently to, to speak to lawyers have they, and they've all declined a service for you. What was their rationale for that?
You are really splitting hairs. If I can't go to the Prime Minister, ASIO, ASIC, an ombudsman, or the police to report rape, murder, tax fraud, conspiracy to pervert the course of justice, of which you calmly speak to me and are a part of, where do you think I can go? So have you spoken to a lawyer about getting legal support, Richard? You didn't answer me. I'm asking you. I asked you a question, you answer me first. Well, I mean, if I want legal support, I don't go to the Prime Minister for legal support. If you were raped, would you go to police? Well, yes, I would. I just did that. What do you think the result was? Yeah. They called me insane. You know why that is? Because I'm framed. You know why you're involved? Because you're an agent to lock me up. You have no other role in my life apart from feather out injustice and delay, defer, deny me getting money, medication. Pardon? I think I've done everything. I'm trying to do everything I can to avoid you going to hospital. I don't need to go to hospital, mate. I didn't need to go to hospital the first time or the second time. This is a um, political game of cat and mouse, as you know. And it is a vile victimization of me that is systemic, and you know it. And it is a vile, um, um, abhorrent distraction from the law and my human dignity that you will keep going on with this um, um, pointless banter that gets us nowhere. Cade, you're fired. Suck my cock.